Okay, final fucking boss time, y'all. Can y'all please cross your fingers and toes for me on this? My god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to beat this game. But, I'm gonna give this like a real good shot here. I'm gonna give this like a real fucking good shot here. We have ten lives, and I know exactly what he's gonna do. It's just executing. It's just executing, that's it. It's so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'm already getting hit twice. Okay, okay, okay. The last hit is the best, or, or the hardest. The last hit is the one that kills me. It's not usually the other stuff. Oh my god. Okay, the wall is not bad unless he does dark blue before red. Then you're kind of fucked. Or if you get hit by everything like I just did. I mean, it's going to be a learning curve at first because I just had to go through a whole level. And I couldn't practice this constantly. But fuck. Two hits, let's go. But that's the thing, is the last hit is the hardest. The last hit is like... Just, just bonkers. He's just pulling out shit that I'm just like, how dare you? Crossing your leg hairs and giving your good peck a bounce for luck. <laughs> Amazing, Kimama. Okay, one more fucking hit. I swear to fucking God. He's not done yet, though. He's not done. The wall. The blue thing. He does, like, four fucking times. Look at this garbage. Look at this garbage! I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Is this is this literally the end, or are we gonna find another boss? Should I even get my hopes up? Oh my fucking god! You cannot defeat me. You're worthless excuse. You worthless excuse of a hero. As long as there is darkness in the world, I will come back. I always do. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, y'all. Oh my god! Please tell me this is over. Please. <laughs> is it? Is it? Are we done? Oh, oh, we can just run through these fuckers. Okay, okay, alright. I'm getting the feeling for this now. Oh, there was a wait? There, there was like, the fucking ceiling is coming? Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, we have to go. We're not dying here on this bullshit. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't believe there's an extra little section. That was like fucking Metroid running out of the goddamn ship. Right? Oh my god. I got a smoke to that. Jesus. That was tough, y'all. That I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've beaten a lot of video games. I've played a lot of video games in my life. That was tough. That was tough. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. GG's, thank you for all the GG's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You legit finger crossed. You genuinely, you genuinely claim victory because of your cross finger typing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, big shouts to Raimani for making this game. Uh, it is, it is almost the same as original Rayman, but he added new areas, new abilities, a whole shop, a whole challenge section, all new skins, new battles. And, like, it's widescreen, it's HD. If you've not played this game before, if you've never played Rayman, 
I know the end was really hard, don't get me wrong, but if you ever just want to, like, play through it, because there's a fuck ton of levels and a lot more to do than just the last boss, this game is totally free. Go check it out. Um, okay, last chance. Last chance to vote for the game next time. And then I'm closing it. Like, I'm going to go take a BRB while y'all watch these credits. No, actually, I'm going to watch these credits with y'all. And then I'll take a BRB, and then we'll come back, and we're going to choose our game that we're voting for. So last chance to go vote. I think I know what I know what's gonna win, but you never know. There's it's two votes away from a tie. You never know. And then we'll watch the uh, very first uh, cutscene of that game, or like or like you know like a like a trailer or something, whatever that game is. Oh my God. Okay, so let me talk about this game. Um, this game is beautiful. It is so tightly designed. It's it's like this is a very professional game. It's not buggy. It's not glitchy. It's not weird. It's extremely solid. Um, the music is great, but sometimes there's levels where it's just like sound effects and weird stuff. So that can be a little off sometimes. Um, the feel of the game is great. In memory of Remy Gazelle. The feel of the game is great. But I will say, this is way harder than any Sonic, any Mario, um, you know, Banjo, any Banjo game, any, like, like, I would put this more on the level of, like, Crash Bandicoot, frustrating, like, Crash Bandicoot 1, it's, like, that hard, maybe even harder, that last boss section was insane, you did, you did, Okay, y'all didn't even see, like, the initial area. It was, like, a level with, like, two bosses in it. And then you think it's going to be over. And then you go to a, an eight boss rush. And then you fight Mr. Dark. And then you have to do two more levels. And then fight Mr. Dark again. Like, it was, like, holy fucking shit. Definitely, like, they were not playing around when they made this. They really wanted you to work for this. Um... New items unlocked in the shop. Let's go see. But I would say, it, I mean, I, like, I don't like to do ratings, but I would say this is a game that you, everybody should at least play this if you like 2D platformers. I wouldn't say everybody should try to beat it because it is, it is really hard. But I do feel very satisfied right now. So there is that, you know. All right, let's see what we can buy. We have all the skins unlocked already for Rayman because, uh... I put in cheat codes, and it saved those. Um, I guess there's more? Yeah, I guess there's other stuff. A skin for checkpoints? Oh, that's cool. Okay, sure. Yeah, we already got, like, all this stuff. And this stuff we don't need to purchase, because we already have that shit unlocked. Um... Oh, okay, so now it opens up the whole map so you can see instead of the binoculars. That's great. Yeah, y'all, this game is massive. It's like over 35 levels, I'm going to say. And each level has a ton of stuff, to, like four different things to collect. There's uh, bonus games where you just do flying stages with the mosquito. There's two different shops. There's a fucking casino you can play with. Like... Yeah, I mean, this game's great. It really is. There's so much to offer. There's so much content. It looks so good. It plays so good. It sounds so good. The only thing, the only thing is that it's really difficult. It's really difficult to, like, beat. I wouldn't say it's difficult to, like, go through the rest of the game. Some of the, some of the stages are pretty difficult, but once you get through that and you get to the last boss, or what you think is the last boss the rest of the levels don't seem as hard at all. Like, it's mainly just the last area on the top left over there, and this area, like, um... This up here, this right here, like, these four levels, this is hard fucking shit. But... But, yeah, I would still recommend this game to anyone, um, especially if you like 2D platformers, and if you've ever been into Rayman, I mean, this is the first game... Um, I do think this game deserves a lot of, like, praise and, and respect for being so fluid and the animation and the soundtrack. For 1995, like, keep in mind, this is the same year that Donkey Kong Country 2 came out. So, like, compared to Do Donkey Kong Country 2, 
this game has as much content. And I think in some ways it's like cooler, but I do think DKC2 is a much more balanced game. Even the last boss, like King K. Rule, even though he's kind of a pain in the ass in DKC2, he's still not as hard as Mr. Dark. Mr. Dark in this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> God damn. But we made it fucking through. I'm so, I'm so ready. I'm so glad to be like, I can put this game on the shelf. So.